guys, Zuljan here, and welcome back to another episode of Dragon Quest Builders 2. I hope y'all are doing well today. We're in the tunnels again. Oh my god, the poison. Come on, just finish him. <laughs> I wish Malroth would glow red so we could try that attack again. What is that? Is that... <gasps> is that a metal slime? Okay, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let me make sure I can hit this dude. Bruh, that is a metal slime. Oh, no, you don't. Yeah, I'm doing like zero damage to him. Where'd he go? He's up there? Okay. Oh, he's trying to run, too. Come on, baby. <gasps> a thousand fifteen experience and silvery sludge. Or was that slippery sludge? I think it was silvery sludge. Bruh! I love it. So, if you're not familiar with Dragon Quest or Dragon Warrior lore, Metal Slimes were these rare spawns that appeared in every game since the beginning, and they all gave, like, a ton of XP. I mean, a ton. Now, I don't remember getting any kind of loot from them, but let's see what this stuff does, actually. It says, Sticky, Slimy Metal, Sourced from a shiny metal slime. Huh. That's all it says. I wonder if we'll be able to use that for something special. Because I know we're not going to be able to harvest a lot of that stuff. Uh, it would be kind of game-breaking if we could. Because we could just level up like crazy. With a thousand XP per one of those. Man, could you imagine if like there would be a spawn area for him? We can trap him? Alright, I wonder if we could get Mauroth to glow red here. In this big fight. To do something special. I think it's L1 and X we have to hit. Maroth, that's your cue, babe. Right over here, my friend. Ouch. Bruh. It hurts. Alright. No. I couldn't make him do it. I couldn't make him do it. He's, right now he's glowing, but it's not, it's not like a, a, they said it glows red, and I've been trying when I've been battling. So, I don't know if you guys have seen any, um, I, I don't know if you guys have had any luck with that, but let's see, one more of these. Uh, something tells me that some kind of, uh, kind of place that Children of Horkon's hench monsters would hang out. Oh, hey, yeah, hello. Oh, that wasn't... <laughs> that wasn't Malroth at all. Alright. I can't do it. Whatever I try, I can't do it. It says I can't speak to people right now. I'm not trying to speak! Oh my gosh. Me trying these crazy attacks is killing me. All right, my health is back. I need to, uh, I need to start farming a little bit of, um, of the medical herbs, man. All right, another pack of monsters sent packing. Hargon's minions must have a lot of time on their hands. Why else would be they roam me around these halls, smashing everything they... Hold on, what's that? More silver? I don't know about you, but it looks pretty darn silvery to me. Could that be what we're looking for? All right. That should be all the silver we need. <laughs> so, you just had to kind of finish the dialogue. We already had silver, but in that case, let's get it back to Magrog. The miners can handle things here. All right. You rabble of rotten roustabouts. Get your picks and get stuck in the seam of silver. Yes. Yeah. So, I guess we're going to start getting that passably now. Come the next evening report, you'll be at... Yep. Sure is. But free thousand lumps? If we want to get that lot damage up anytime, dug up anytime soon, we'll have to get the lads motivated and they're <laughs> of the eyeballs, which is why you got to get the silver bar built. And that ain't the only plus point of building the new pub. When it's finished, we get the place of resistance watching Babs dance and hardly bleeding weight. Uh, Zuljan, look at that. 
It's a, it's another Nava globe. You might want to activate it before you head back up. I think I already did. Magrog's waiting up there for you. Why don't you head back to base now and show them what we found? Sounds good to me. Oh, I don't even have to to warp. We yeah, we can already warp here. So what we need to do is go up and warp there. Perfect. We might do some above ground exploring too. Yay, everybody's happy. Alright, Magrog, you found it, didn't you, Zuljan? You found a seam of silver, just like I asked. The miners should start bringing back silver with them now, but if you ever need a little extra, you can always go and dig some up yourself. From what the lads tell me, it seems this seems in the deepest part of the mine. Those tunnels have been abandoned for donkey's years. <laughs> they were excavated before our fathers were even Twinkies in our grandfather's eyes. Oh, Twinkles. <laughs> Nobody knows what's down there anymore. I don't know about y'all, but my grandfather's eyes used to twinkle when he saw a Twinkie. Rumor has it that children of Horgon's Grand Temple lies deep within the caves. The legends tell me of menacing monsters, bizarre buildings, and goodies galore. We found silver in the tunnels. All the talk of gold and treasure doesn't seem so far-fetched. Hey, and now that you've got some silver to work with, you'll be able to make some terrific treasures yourself. I wonder if we're going to get another recipe here. We can already build a broadsword, which I haven't done yet. And this is the new one, Iron Broadsword. And honestly, we could probably make a few of these. Alright, and we'll be able to give some of these away. First, we'll go ahead and equip it. Let's see if we can get... Yep, we can give. Beautiful. I don't remember who takes what. Um, as we go here. So, when it comes time to the actual fights that we have to do, I'll go ahead and upgrade anybody that I missed here. Uh, but as far as this goes, let's uh, finish up the quest dialogue here. Uh, I heard on the Vine Apple Vine that you've reached an old abandoned bit of the mine, and all thanks to Golden Rocks assume for human strength. Still, at my current rate, it'll take bleeding ages for the lads to dig up all the silver we need. We gotta get them to put the rig alone. And there's one thing that they're sure to get them uh, fired up seeing that silver bar of yours take shape. For starters, how about setting up the bar itself? You'll need five connect encounters with four stone stools pulled up to them, plus a cocktail shaker and a water jug on top. Reckon you can handle that? Of course, you ain't gonna make progress till you've got the floor down. Better chunk in some silver brick blocks and all. All I'm asking for is a cocktail counter with a water jug on top. I'm sure where to put it. Just check the blueprint. Okay, so first thing we have to do is make the uh, the silver bricks. And I'm thinking that we're going to have to get some ingots with that. Yeah, we're probably going to have to go and craft. Magrog is going to make this process go a little bit quicker if he helps. But I think the best thing that we can do is kind of let a couple days go by and get silver. I mean, we can go get some of our own. But we can also multitask and let them do it for us. So let's just take a look at the map here and see where we've gone. So this uh, puzzle I couldn't figure out last time. And there's another puzzle here that I did not do yet. Uh, aside from that, we could just explore a little bit and see where, uh, where it takes us. So we've made it to the top of the mountain right past the little monument um, that I couldn't figure out what to do with. Uh, the little Minimetal puzzle. And it looks like... There are a couple things that we have not visited yet. Um, that being one of them, some sort of castle. Let's fly over there. Hopefully I'm not hopefully I'm not going past anything I'm not supposed to, guys. Let's see here. We're going to go right on top if it lets us. Uh, it will not let us. It will let us. <laughs> All right. Let's see if there's anything up here. Some track and stuff? Hmm. Okay, let's just go down. I know it took a little bit of damage here, but anything in here? Is there like an entrance that I can get in? Doesn't look like it. Let's break it down, man. Let's break it down. Wow. Nope. Can't open that up. Okay. I imagine it's a, uh, that's a little bit of a quest that we're going to have to see about getting later. 
Alrighty, and it looks like, yeah, we had found something. <laughs> well, thank goodness this wasn't an entire wasted trip. Alright, let's see here. It looks like there are... Oh, uh, this looks relatively easy, I think. Oh, we can pull. It lets us pull. Uh, what? So as I've been exploring, it looks like they have a little bit of a declaration to do. And let's see what kind of silver we get. Ten... Ten of three thousand, huh? Oh, ninety of three thousand. Okay, thank goodness. My share was ten. <laughs> All right, that's that's cool. So as I was exploring a little bit, I ended up finding another little puzzle, and we're at it right now. And it kind of looks weird, right? It looks like I'm probably gonna have to. Uh, let's see. Can we pull these at all? No. It doesn't... It doesn't look like it. So, what, um... Let's see. Pull. Hmm. It has a hammer on it. So, let's, uh... Oh. We could break that. But we can't break that. Let's see what happens if I break it. Okay. Will it let me pull it now? Or... What the heck is this? Sideways pointing puller. Magnetic manipulator. Oh, I see. I see. So we take that out. And this is what we're going to have to do here. We're going to have to... Like this... And it'll, if we hit pull, it'll pull. I see now. I see. So can we pick this thing up? We can. We can. Um, let's put this back where this was. And pull. Hmm. Very interesting. Um... Can we... Can we pull this away? So we need to pull like this now? Okay. And we need to stop it, like, right there. Okay. Now we can pull this. And we only need to pull, like, one more now. Is this gonna do it? Got it! Ha! <laughs> Interesting little puzzle. <laughs> Magnet blocks, huh? I like it. So we solved the puzzle. We should get the mini metal now. I really wish I could figure out that other one. <laughs> Alrighty. So I guess with all the exploration that I did, you can check out the map right here and see that I've gone kind of all over the place. I think it's time to kind of work on the bar a little bit. Alrighty. We've got some more silver done. We slept through the night. I'm going to ring the bell to get my hearts real quick and see where we're at on that. And it looks like I am... Um, can I, can I ring it for, like, a base upgrade now? No, not yet. But I do have enough hearts to do it. Oh, no, I need four. Seriously? Four? Wow. Okay. So, it's okay. After they eat, they should give us some hearts here. That should be pretty good. So, let's see how to make silver bricks here. So, with the building, we need a lot of iron. We already said that. We need silver bricks, 161. And they take... Wow. They take quite a bit, actually. So we're going to have quite a bit. But we need probably another night or so to pass before we're going to have enough of that. We're also going to need a ton of iron. But the good news is we have a ton of iron. So we'll get that started. 
and we'll be able to place some as we go too. Okay, that'll be enough iron blocks. And there's a number of other things that we need too, but mainly these are going to be the ones that they asked us for immediately, I think. Two of these stools. We need some barrels. Oh, those were tables actually that I just made, the silver ones. Those are stools. I wasn't even reading. I'm just like looking at the, um, the numerals on the left side. All right, and uh, we need a couple of those. One of these. And I think we need one of the copper uh, deals, yeah. And a water jug, which we'll need a silver ingot for, <laughs> which we'll have some soon enough. Uh, but we're gonna probably have to either get a little silver or let them kind of do it. They're gonna work in the mines, so um, that's good. Okay. So let's see what we can do with this silver bar here. I'm thinking that the silver needs to go like all along that. Okay, I got it. Uh, yeah, we're gonna need quite a bit of those light light boxes, the one that we harvested one of. Um, let's see, so it's like on the left side here. We can start placing some of these. All right, that's all the silver blocks I had, but we're getting the layout pretty good right now. There's just a couple missing here and there um, from the patterns on the left and right. So what was the other things that we need? He wanted to get the connecting counters going. That's going to be at the back left. So let's get those. And I think it's going to be like right here. So the connecting counter starts here and does a little... I think that's all of them let's see no one more all right and on the back side we're gonna need one of those light blocks we'll just try to get this done right we'll need the light box what's uh behind that though is that iron yeah i'm gonna have to do the rest with iron i think all right so we've got this little area set up now we need some stools which we made just a second ago let's go ahead and take those out and i think they're placed one in front of every one now we're also going to need that uh, the copper deal and the pitcher which we don't have everything yet we have the copper and we have uh, where does this go actually the cocktail shaker goes right in front. Now it's a cocktail counter. And now we're just going to need a little bit more silver to make this happen. I guess we're going to teleport down and go grab some, actually. All right, so we went and mined some silver. I got plenty of it cooking as well as some iron. And uh, there was a few more hearts laying around when I got back up. So, without further ado... Ah, look at the little boar over there. <laughs> Base level three. Very nice. And more miners. That's what I'm talking about. Yes. More work, baby. And? A load of new recipes. We got carpet, fancy carpet, gold bricks, Golden tile, adobe windows, golden braziers. Of course, we're going to need gold to get those. Dining tables, round tables, connecting couches, cocktails, fungus board? Uh, meat feast. <laughs> I like it. Fun-sized fountain and curtains. Very cool. I could listen to the sound of that bell all day long, I tell you. It's so inspiring. Looks like you got some inspiration yourself, Zodin. You got good ideas for golden braziers, gold brick blocks, and in carpet blocks have you proper fancy you've thought up some new food too cocktails fungs board and even meat feasts <laughs> it's all set in the tables uh, already set in the tables and it looks like we've brought in a few new miners too i think things are about to get a lot busier around here i can't thank you enough zuljan with a few more miners on board goldie rocks will be back to his old self again in no time bruh you know how hard it is talking with you clapping like this the whole time dang i know your arms are tired well about 
how you go and say hello to the new lads. Give them a good old Kremlin welcome. Oh, Lord, we're going to get a lecture about how we're heretics. Um, we was just minding our own business when we heard the funny old ringing sound. We couldn't help but follow the noise. What's going on here, then? You're building a town and you're, build and you're mining again? The children of Horgon won't have this. We won't let you get away with... Oh, my days. <laughs> Welcome to Crumbledom. Are you lads here to stay? There's plenty of work down in the mine and the town's on the up and up. Must say no. If we disobey the children of Horgon, they'll have our heads for breakfast. But my pecs are telling me to stay. Oh, who cares about Horgon and his band of buffoons when we can live in with such a gorgeous girl? Alright, we'll do it. As long as we get to keep mining nice and quiet, Horgon will never know better. The six, second six-pack of miners move into Zul'jin's space. Very nice. So we do have six more miners. That means... I don't know how much more production we'll get. I don't. I, I can't do the math behind it. I have no idea what per, which e, what each one will do. Anyway, that's cool though, bro. The town is super busy. Yep, we need the big bar. Stat, man. Stat. Okay, so uh, the only thing other than that we needed with a silver bar. Let's talk to our friend again. And no, uh, Din, Din, Din. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Stone stools, connect encounters, cocktail shader, shaker, and a water jug. Okay. So, we'll just need the uh, the water jug. And all we need is one more silver for that, which is just about done here. Okay, the silver's done. Now we make the water jug. Alright, we're also going to need some of these, it looks like. Playing cards. <laughs> We don't need them for this quest or whatever, but since I saw them on the blueprint schematic, we'll go ahead and make it. And as far as the water jug goes, all we have to do is place it on the blueprint. And I want to say it's right back here that we got to place it. So, yeah, pretty much right there. All right, and the improvements to the bar make the miners more motivated. Now they will mine more metal. So that quest is done. And here comes old Din. Sterling work with that counter, Zul'jin. After a few glasses of Digger's Jigger and a quick dip in the lads, we'll be set for another day of hard digging. Speaking of digging, the old town's buzzing about these deep dark tunnels you've opened up. It actually reminds me of the old Crumbledon legend of sorrowful story of the unrequited unre love. <laughs> I'll tell you if you want to hear it. Yeah, sure. All right, then, here goes. Once upon a time, a maiden with beautiful locks and long flowing hair showed up in Crumbledon. Before long, she had fallen head over heels in love with the most handsomest geezer in the whole island. But the bloke was a bit of a man of the town, if you know what I mean. The maiden's affections turned to jealousy and then hatred. Then one night, the hateful rage, she tied... Wait. She tied her hair in a silky soft ponytail, strangled the poor blighter in his sleep, and ran away into the mine, never to be seen again. Don't worry, it ain't a true story, just something we miners made up. You'd never guess it took uh, it, <laughs> it to look at us, but us crumbled dunners got a romantic side too. Wow. Alright, well the quest is complete, and now I've got another favor to ask. What with the new pub and the way the more tunnels to explore, we've got to do a few more miners... Uh, we've got to do a few more miners fancy giving that bell a ring. We did that already, okay? We did it. <laughs> I gotta hand it to you, Zul'jin. The bell really worked its magic this time. Six new faces. With that many miners, we'll be digging up more metal than ever. Maybe we can even delve deeper into the caves. Oh, I've been to hell. It's hot down there. Listen, Zul'jin, I realize that all talk about the miners' uh, binge and misery on their own heads is a load of old cobblers. The children of Horgon said that the glint of metal sowed the seeds of greed in our hearts and made us scrap over every scrap. That said, the light blinded us to the truth. But that ain't true at all. The sparkle of silver and the glimmer of gold is what gives us hope. It don't burn the bridges between us, it builds them. We need more metal than ever. We've got to bring the Golden Age back to Crumbledon. All right, and that we will, Din. That we will. Well, that part of the bar is made, and it looks like we got another couple side quests popping up, but... We're going to have to wait until next episode, you guys. I hope y'all really enjoyed this one. If you did, give me some dap on that like button to show you support. And you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Ulgan signing off. We'll see you next time. Break it down.